Hungry? What's next? Oh. The storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is. Quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Ah! Not again. Get ready. Falcon! <laughs> Do you 
wouldn't give up that easy, would she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is! Uh, ah! Mother! Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Got you! Uh, He's gotta get away from her! I'm trying! Up there! What she? Look out! The trees! They're coming down! That was too close. She's coming around again! I do not wish to fight you! I'm losing my grip here! Hold tight! The protection stave is near! Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Freya, why did you... Dave, we made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vanna. Up. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? <laughs> there you go. Oh boy. 
Atreus, the time draws near. You must prepare yourself. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. Sofna. Hethon. Sofna. 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 No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him. Well, I don't recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes 
supposed to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumpus. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh, shh, shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Mm. Good boy. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. I 
you my P4. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. He crawled through here. Have you seen troubles in your sleep? Even for you? Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah. The bad old days? In Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. <laughs> Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone. On your left! <laughs> Check on the protection stave. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well... You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trails on the other side of that gas. If you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. I reckon they will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of. Otherwise accurate predictions. I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. thinking, brother, that Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. Torches. 
And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. <laughs> are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. goes through here, leads deeper in. There will be more. Well, someone got in the bear's way. That one's got a sling. Look out, brother. Atreus came here seeking shelter, kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you? <laughs>
Atreus. Atreus! 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 Atreus. Mm. What? First, focus. Heal. Prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't that help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Say the word, Father. Now! Nista! So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Finrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. <laughs> In my chair. Oh. I recognize where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better.
this one. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. He must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there. For a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. What was that? The ball! Come in. I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about.
this place. could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. Psst. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? 
Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. About time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called a blood payment. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. That was for Boulder. Now show me this god killer I've heard so much about. I did not seek that fight with your brother. <laughs> I don't care. That's all? You are finally showing You know my task? The ghost of Sparta thing? Yeah. Then you know what I'm capable of. Show me! Now we gotta fight! We're hoping to see your blade! Guess they don't come when you call! How were you ever a god of war? Say when we're done. <laughs> 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 
I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! Afraid to get your hands dirty? Oh. Stop holding back! <laughs> this is the god that murdered a pantheon because they hurt his feelings! <laughs> My sons and your boy, all father, have plans for him. <laughs> Consider your blood debt paid. It's in you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Bro, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on then. Ain't a long walk. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me all near pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold their own. Kind of the point. All set. This'll get you home.
Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, though. You will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all-fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tyr? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth. From me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but... Now that you know... There's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things. Are you ready? Go. And keep the change, you bastard! going the old temple in the wildwoods why it'll be easier to explain once we're there Odin didn't see anything else while you were outside 
Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the Giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. Do you think he knows all the Giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? That or the up the potato fell together. Almost to the bridge. Oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another pass to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. Dreams. Whoa. That one's still alive. No. Look closer. Oh, you warned me. Suppose it's too much to hold for the enemy of theirs to be a friend of ours. Hold. Come! Whoa! What the hell, brother? What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh, yeah. Being all the way on guard. Whatever it is, what I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki. You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite Hello, the realms against him. Off quiet. What? Egitong or something. Well, they return from the dead rather quickly, don't they? <laughs> Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the giant. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. What do you think? 
can't imagine what the lad's found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Nice how Fimble Winter wore down all the helpful magic they acquired. Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. <laughs> 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 gotten rather good at that. Another grizzly scene. <laughs> 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 I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh no! Brother! Oh, <laughs> 
Winter Freya, the raiders tore nodes and barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. The collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories... ...the secret stories... ...those they kept here... ...inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanahan. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. 
Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Wimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding Earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Here since Fardal finds somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. Huh, this way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Sparkle Fine? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Mimir, did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. He told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? <laughs>
Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. No! <laughs> curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfon, I think there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! How you've grown! Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! 
Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? My son disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Do you know this? Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? We got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. No refunds. Thank you.
Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Gerlin? Atreus. <laughs> All right. See you out there, Sindri. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Uh... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodging bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it. Good. Now, release! Still on poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell got eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just, just oh, there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take the joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that lad? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. <gasps> One less feathery spy. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? <laughs> Left flank! 
Nista! I see we're already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water'd be frozen in a second. Hmm. Oh! to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Freyd Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. <laughs> enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. <gasps> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on, there's got to be a faster way to get down there. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Whoa oh, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Is that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Svartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. You think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? I lie. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Everywhere. 
More of an ingenuity for ya. Back to the boat. With this realm or anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. <clears throat> I 
I think that's everything here. Wanna get going? Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Brother, look! That strange bugger popped back out of the ground again! I still don't see how we can get up to that chain. about freezing the guys or under the wheel. Maybe. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. But you should collect any others you find. Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, 
but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why hold that for us, though? They are scared. It was definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouth. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things. Oh, in action. Ah. Whoo. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. I've ever been to a filthy tavern. The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Another of Cavassia's poems. <laughs> the 
this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. I'll take him. What can I make for you? No, it's fine. I don't mind you standing around like that. I'll disinfect my tools. Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Bomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means. <laughs> sensitivity. This looks promising, right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours. Named Durlin? <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. 
and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. <laughs> Oh! 
Materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. No, it's still here. What? The island. 
bloody Draugr hole. We've got to clear out all the undead bastards. <laughs> <laughs> A prisoner of sorts. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments, essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Think that crane still works? There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the ace here in the first place? That's the hot. I lied to them. I lied. The dwarves didn't like working for Asgard. Couldn't they just quit? You what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awesome. Right guy! Incoming! Whoa. An Yggdrasil seed to Moosbahan. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? I'm still thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. They didn't have fun? Well... Anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Quick play, brother! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
you okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. What you just picked up there is pure Svartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. The dwarves survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Huge. Yeah, it should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deed with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Can't. Thanks. Right. It's got to be the right spot. Whose battles? I smell fuel. Bet a spot from your blades would cause quite a boom. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Mir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> Call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri.
The air smells a lot cleaner. That's because we shut down the rigs. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. looks weak down here, Father. <laughs> that gear. Looks like it was free. <laughs> Maybe that lift can help us get high. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. Head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. <laughs>
What? So that's the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. Lungbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. If you could... Uh. with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Anything illuminating? Source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, 
It's nothing to what I've said to myself. The Fen, if you could. I know. Just the tail left now. Look out! Resnick! Fred, left flank! The Ness was hiding some sort of device. There's a dock down there, but it looks like it's blocked. that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <laughs> Nice 
nicely done. as well. Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. I think I see something. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, Bubba? <gasps> yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. The mining rigs. They're mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it.
Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland. At a place Enough. called the... We will continue later. You great blubbering beast! Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no, no, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off, and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. But that's not enough. It seldom is. Hey, this seems like a good time to try and remember all the terrible stories about Thor and Odin. Not now. Brother! Do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. We're looking for Derlin. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <clears throat> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go.
protect us. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Hoisting your back! The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear! Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. <laughs> we can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. <laughs> we may need 
some special equipment to use this. see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. It seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find him. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. I think we need some special equipment to use this. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Oh, no, no! Found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. 
That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. <gasps> Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. back on the track. Wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, or could. Uh oh. I 
we should... Are you serious? Nice, join him. Behind you! That was crazy. All of it. You said it, my brother. This is incredible. Stone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the Whetstone. So, point the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo.
Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. That's it! Let's head across. Good bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? Is cooperative in large scare quotes. be able to get up there if you help me. <laughs> Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father. There's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. I hope you can make that jump. <laughs> it's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Hi. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? Side. I will lift on mine. Heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Let's keep moving. Maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Looks like we found Jarlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, 
and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? Huge cranes moving this way. I think this is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Look out! Well, looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's gotta be another way. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. <sighs> These guys again? Where are they all coming from? I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wretches are coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! Watch your left! <laughs> Keep moving. Look 
I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's the door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. The instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of Tyr? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, Lux. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. What can I make for you? Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? I'll disinfect my tools. That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? I'll heat up the forge. Be safe.
whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Look, there's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Fimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. There's another door. Maybe that's the one. But it is a mine after all. Namir, that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. That should keep the lift fully powered up. We're almost there. Wait, where are you going? We will return. There's another door! Beat these guys from back there! Another red! To the left! 
Go this way. A statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulf, Yolf the thief. Flowing water is powering the train. Clever. We'll be up there in no time. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. To your camp before. <clears throat> Think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in this mine. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. <laughs> didn't make it out.
Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Go. We're above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. What happened? Why didn't that work? The chain is locked. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. Exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. The war does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. have to go back and check out that last door, right? I'm telegram to be still! <laughs> this looks familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. I think I can hear something in there. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the World Mill, built by Durin the Generous. I believe that's all of the rebel artifacts. We can return to Brock whenever you're ready. <laughs> Another drug of old brother. <laughs> 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 That's not what I was ready for. A 
Another dead end. Where could he be? Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Tears here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You do not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. Did you hear that, brothers? I think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait! Is that light up ahead there? Hey! This might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. Don't lock a door like that. You have a spare bed for us. I see what we must do. Do it then. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Blades. I know you. God killer. Have you come from me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look. You know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! You... Stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! 
Find your son. Tear, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. 
I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind. Blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm a trade. You already know Amir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Yotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alpha now. You have my sympathies. Odin's wrath to free me. Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Namir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment. Execrable torture at the hands of the old father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to. Well, that. Highly pleasant for all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's. It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Balder... Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir, speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, watch out! No. No, 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 Come, we must leave before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Get it yourself. No. I have abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. 
Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... Or worse yet, lead you to it... Then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner brother perhaps now you'd like to finish the story uh, the sons of Thor attacked us we killed them Balder tried to kill Freya I killed him but you skipped over how we fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone? And now they called me Loki. I'm finding the shrines the Giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ainuriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Look out! <laughs> 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 Careful, brother. You're covered in black. Travels. Did you ever hear the Giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The Giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. A... treehouse. Lord Tyr! You're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> so, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. You hold still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight here. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. Sounds like promises were made. 
Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. And I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Do you have a broom closet? Yes, but it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. To be honest, it's all I can manage. Some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack. So that's what's left of Tyr, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? Need something special? Put some herd on them. What'll it be? You make up your mind. I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well. I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His game is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. 
That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. Oh. But we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? You brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air, is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay, well, a lot's kind of happened, and I need answers. <sighs> a chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! So, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including slobber. Yeah, then I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not just. Fine, do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Venomous? Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Or not. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way oh, through. Wow. Almost like you've done this before. So, Tear's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, 
Great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Alpha. Uh, okay, right. I'll just take this, you dirty pile of rocks. Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri, harsh words. I'm sure he'll recover. Shut up. Do you want my help or not? All right, all right. Oh! Stop him! Give me a second. Sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you truly need help. Oh, whatever. Shoot. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all.
What is that? all you're gonna say? Well, don't let us keep you up or anything. Good talk. <coughs> Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Frozen. Maybe I can. Would you just let me do it? So, what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Vesla, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. Sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire pot! Please. Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. 
We can't just do nothing, and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Okay. Now, which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Destroy the sonic piece first. All right, I just need to get a different angle on the sound. Stone. to hide things if he just trusts me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me. Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? <sighs> <laughs> Trust her. Why won't you tell me? Going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Come <laughs> on. 
shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. senses yet yes I mean uh, I'm not changing my mind ha you do have doubts oh. hey like you never do better than having regrets I'm not sure I agree with that but by all means keep going and you might find those too I feel so much better now. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Why am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. Well, you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. 
No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfine. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. It's a good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just missed no, that! No. I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Need a moment! I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. 
I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. <sighs> Will they ever quit? Stop them! Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. Really? And now? Stop up! have to tell him. He has a right to know. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. <sighs> so I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, Lil Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not come to war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is 
is this? Sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. How fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus. I think it will do me well to see the light of Elphite again. Mm. That Elphite. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tames the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here. 
Let me show you. That's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? <sighs> Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better now. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Dares up. Huh. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the temple of light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Just looting Nornia's chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes you. Huh. Very well. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different one of that one. <laughs> one raven down. <clears throat> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. No! Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. No! Oh, didn't no! do that. Oh! <laughs> 
from the mind of Vasia. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. <laughs> it's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim, and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. 
Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather the Souls' bodies. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. Let's just to let these two do their thing, brother. On light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, Brian awaits. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. <laughs> Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. <laughs> The wee bastard's about to explode! Ride us this way, Kratos. Yeah, you know, we just like to be thorough. I see. By all means, then. Anything interesting this way? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. More light elves ahead. Alfheim. Uh. Maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Tear! Get back! Right on! 
souls in the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. Not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> can really jump. Light bridges. 
Look at this statue. Crystal. I noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm. Stone with light bridges. But now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? At least we're getting close. Dude's even taller on the inside. Can't believe it. <laughs> Why must they insist on these frustrations? You would know better than us, Bubba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any more stuff to Alice from fighting each other? That prayer not abandon the realm, a lasting peace may inform. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, 
I suppose we're all entitled to walk around. <laughs> Last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I wondered what became of Sparta. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. Your father is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it? Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Oh, the might of Alpine. Stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he you said he... went inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But 
she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh, they changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this high stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. for grabbing that for us. At your service. Ooh, these will look fantastic in my storage chest. What can I make for you? Have we more to talk about? The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so. 
But Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No, I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. There used to be a Nornir chest down here. <laughs> Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Left side! Incoming! Oh! <laughs> 
out before more arrives. Find you, watch out! Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Follow oh, us! Ah! Hold on! Over here! Your chase! Oh, 
Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. You shouldn't linger. I want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Dark Elf Assault. How fortuitous. They don't make a fighting elf. Can't they just leave us alone? We need to get out of here. Through here. This way! Go! Oh. 
Open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. And now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top once we find a way past this hive matter. Travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. This axe just keeps getting stronger.
What can I make for you? And Atreus? Kratos? Have we more to talk about? What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Not for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. direction to find your wounded animal or are we just enjoying the weather i can't hear anything out here perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings <sighs> a tempting treasure chest <clears throat> damn the <this> sand <clears throat> underneath the desert is the creature within yeah sounds like it we'll find it if we keep going what is this place a refuge for the dark elves by the looks of it 
One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. more about the dark elves i wish we didn't have to fight them they attack us well this is their home and considering what happened the last time we were in alpha can you really blame them Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Watch out! Let's go! 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 Go!
above you! Watch out! Whoa. or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't.
I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? There's something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Bloody half you five ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luch. Get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so. Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful workplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, we can't all be winners. There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Afghans are known to burrow. I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark health friends. 
but it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You receive the creature enslaved. No. Then let us free it. This is the spot! We can cut the half goofa loose here! It flies? Of course it flies! It's a half goofa! Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what. Ah! <laughs> 
soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor. He broke oh! the walls of Asgard, and whispered on something of importance yeah! there before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. <gasps> it means I've seen more raiders come back as hellwalkers lately i thought freeing the valkyrie queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening that's a Other terrible things have Odin and Thor done. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. <laughs> Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Old. We will finish later. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem.
to remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up, but there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half, Gufa. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Acer God? Let this wait. Stay alert. <laughs> Any more Thor and Odin stories to remember? I can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Set that aside for now. Come. I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will... There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend to... Perhaps later. Okay. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. Lucky for you, I'm still buying.
for now. Please, allow me to cook for you. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You... Oh, Atreus. My son. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I wish I had known I was a god in Elfon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Was that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much 
strong. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories, and not nice ones. We broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonahan. What do you want? Let's go, Druma! I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 Whatever.
I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> ah! The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been... Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angravoda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. Right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Thola. Oh. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard that Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. It's a clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. <sighs> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Take that! Watch out! Yama! <laughs> What were you doing before you came here? Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. Is that chainmail? I wonder what lots of Fimble you think. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? You make our giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Jump up!
Something my father. You know what? Never mind. Looking good. Thanks. Wait. What? This one here is going the right way. Oh. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Great! I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> Yo! Edie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! I can slow down! Get 
I'm just lucky. Uh, you're just lucky. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We're almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Here. Those. Isn't that Vanya magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happens. No, 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 this isn't real. Iron was not real. The Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, hey. <laughs> It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future! It says I serve Odin and my father dies! There's just no way! Look, this is the only way things turn out! The sooner you accept that, the better! Oh, shit. I wasn't mean to. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. 
Loki. I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Hi, Allah. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Uh -huh. Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um, I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> so, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. There's flowers over there. Silence. I... Okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Here's one. Let's grab it. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. I can't wait to meet more of them. How many more of these fruits do you need? You in a hurry to leave? No, I just gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Okay. We have time. I see some fruit up there. Then we should be up there too. Oop. Wait, were you talking to me or the yak? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Let me help. Thanks. You're welcome. Are you? Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what you saw in the mural. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If I learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But... I can't. Not for this. Yeah. <gasps> can't reach it.
You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. When Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Let's head up to that ledge. More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big stuff. Oh, Yo. now we can't get under that log. Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. Just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Huh. Right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me. But I have to grow up so fast. At least you got an apology. Dads have a way with words, huh? You know, maybe Oda needs you for something. Or maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. Green bulbs go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need to, like, fix my bow or something, can I? Of course. I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want. What's next? Well, now's when I usually I... harvest the beast roots I mix with them. I mean, unless you still want to leave. No, I can stay. I want to stay. You know, I paint too. Well, I draw. What do you draw? 
All kinds of things. Monsters, artifacts, anything Father and I encounter on our journeys. Oh, is your father an artist too? <laughs> no. There are some roots up this way. Easy, girl. You've got this. Do you have any animals that could maybe, uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. Oh. I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. She really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she spent time with is... Drop on the ridge! Loki, show me the wolf! That's it! You got this! I've got you! when I change. Like, I'm not in control. Do you need to be? some roots down here. Grab them while we look for a way out. No knife, remember? Oh, yeah. Guess it isn't a total loss. I don't pull up roots for a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't you. Hey, looks like they opened up a path over there. Let's catch up with Yala before more of them show up. Yada! You're okay. But what about you, Loki? What do you feel when you change? Just... anger. The part of you unleashed the wolf with that anger. Maybe you just need to find the part that will <clears throat> guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you stay. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Maybe. Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then... I've got one last thing to show you. 
You okay? Yeah, just... We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it all right if we stick around longer? Might wanna, you know, repair some stuff. Yes. <gasps> Are there any animals you can turn into? Not yet. But for you, that might be a god thing and not a giant. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. Through the tunnel on the right, Yola. That's where we're headed. Oops, not that way, girl. Let's turn around. Huh. Head in. Oh. I really like that spell. It hides this place perfectly. Maybe that's why I couldn't sense any other giants when Father and I visited. So, what's that soul in your mouth? The what? The... There's, there's a soul inside your knife. Did you not know that? No. Whose soul? You know, maybe you should keep it where it is until you figure that out. How did... I don't just go around stealing people's souls. Yala usually takes a while to get around. What you doing? Clears my mind. I try to see how many bounces I can get. You wanna try? Looks easy enough. Oh. <laughs> a little help? No, I, I think I got it. How about... Uh, one. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm you're not? Laughing at the situation. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, well, I might need a little help. You'll get it. Throw it flatter. It's all about timing. When you release the rock. All right. Watch this. Bring the wolf, Loki, but under your control. Taka! Jump up! That didn't count, by the way. My last throw. Oh, it counts. A trogger came out of the water. Excuses. We can always try again later. We'll want to head under that archway when we're done here. Where are we going now? I have something for you. A gift, I guess? Should I 
You scared? No. Uh, I, uh, don't have anything for you. Can I ask you something? Of course. Are you, are we the only giants left? Sort of. It's complicated. I want to know. It'll be much easier to just show you. Well, I promise. What about my prophecy then? If it is true, what do you think I should do? Doesn't matter. There's no changing where you end up. You can try whatever you want to avoid it, but it'll happen anyway. You're telling me nobody has ever changed their fate? Ever? I mean, sure, maybe some details change, but the end point remains the same. It's better to walk your path than to struggle against it. Upward. Farah. This, um, gift doesn't seem like something you're excited about. It just means we're coming up to the end. What does that mean? You'll understand once we get there. Now, time to hold up my end of the prophecy. Follow me. Yeah, Coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard, so they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? We'll see. <laughs> I got it. Marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's. There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Who 
Crowther? Hey, careful. Ara. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. They're your responsibility. Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. You're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. And it's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. I was supposed to fight alongside you? I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well... We shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Huh. Tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. It feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just... It's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? A friend? Wait, do you feel that? Feel what? Help me with this. We should get back to Yala. Something feels off. <laughs> Yala? Uh, Angerboda, could you help? <sighs> Is she okay? Uh oh. Marbles. They are all that remains of the giants? Not all. Some are just missing. But where could they be? 
No, we're in the Nine Realms, as far as anyone can tell. Fara! Past those rocks, there's a sinkhole. That's where we're headed. We should... Something on your mind? Nobody believed this place was real. They're gonna be so surprised. Loki, you can't tell anyone about Ironwood. Not even your father. The biggest thing keeping this place safe is that Odin's not looking for it. My wards can keep the wildlife at bay, but if Asgard ever came looking... I get it. I'm sorry. I won't tell anyone. Coal coming up. Lots of creatures in it. Used to get a lot of supplies for paint down there. Yeah? We should run them out. Your paint supplies are important. If that's what you want to do. Uh, sure. Why not? Nina. a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me the supplies I need, so keep an eye out. It's so dark down here. Let me fix that. Wretches! A nest of them! They're everywhere down here! Jump up! That's it! If we can light more torches, we'll be able to see, clear them out, and grab what I need. Do it. Please, I'll light the torches. Got him! Smells kind of funky, like old water. Got another one. Oops. Let me know if you see any more torches. I'll light them so we can keep. I think we're close to another nest. I got this one. Oh, Hard not to get lost in here, right? Yeah, we're fine. We got this.
Be many left. You should visit Midgard. I have an idea. What if you came with me? Where? Midgard? The other realms? Anywhere. Sweet of you to offer. I think there's another one nearby. That's all of them. Thanks. Feeling any better? A bit. Let's head back. Got it! There we go. <laughs>
You okay? Yeah. You? Ready to be out of here. Let's head home. You know, I thought learning my destiny would change something. But I'm still just me. Was it like that for you? You're always still going to be you, Loki. It's about coming to terms with it. And you've come to terms with it? I thought so. Back the way we came? Nah, head around the sinkhole. It'll be quicker. Oh, I meant to ask you, your mother had visions. Can all giants tell the future? Some, in dreams. Hey, yeah, I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true, too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. What are those? Fireflies? Are they dangerous? <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. Come on, girl. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. I meant what I said before, you know, about your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Oh, damn time. What the... Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Damn it. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? 
I can't feel anything. There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. My father wouldn't do anything to avert his fate. She changed. I see. Looks like we'll need to find a way through. Can you see anything on the other side? Looking. A lot of giants live here over time you want to know about your mother she lived this entire life before she had me but i don't know anything about it sorry i don't know anything about her your mother left the path of the giants way before i was born <laughs> <laughs> This is Gryla's home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she might have more animals inside. We have to be quick. There's another way in, up there. We'll have to figure out how to get to it. Maybe there's a way up on the other side. I won't be able to get across. Ryla, what does she need animal souls for anyway? She can live moments from their lives. Finally feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. Their only worry is being what to hunt and where to sleep. But 
It's not real. Oh. Is still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. She might keep the animals. <sighs> the key's already in the lock. Just gotta turn it. Loki. Hey, we know my future, and it doesn't involve us getting killed by your grandma. Not how it works. Loki, we should get moving if we're gonna do this. Breathing near the back of the cell. Me too. I'm not hearing their voice. I can't feel anything, just like the other one. She took its soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you? You didn't have a least favorite giant, did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... You can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? That's it? Where's it going? That even work? I don't know. Here. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's 
not. I just... I think they're better off with you. Loki. Are you certain? Call me Atreus. Let's get back. Head up those stairs again. I'm sorry. I just... We'll have to get out the same way we came in. She can't know we were here. And we better put that cup back when we get to it. Close the door. I've got it. than it looks. Thanking me. What good does a soul do anybody? It's just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf. Then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. I told you never to come back here. That's right. Look at me. So many things I've forgotten. And you refuse to be one of them. It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, wouldn't you rather face it together? What does destiny ever do for anybody? Was it your mom's? Your father's destiny to marry that absolute... My mother, your mother, I won't give up on you! Oh, uh, 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 you draw the fray! Loki! Loki! Let's kill her! Right. Run! Up this way. There's a way back to her kitchen. Where are you? You sure you want to go back there? I told you, we have to. I can hear you. Over there. Gotta destroy that cauldron. Can you swing across? Father broke, eh? Don't talk about my father! <laughs> 
you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are Nothing! And no one will ever remember you! Not even Loki! You'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story! He'll be too busy mourning his father! I see you again! You wish you died with your parents! You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up and... I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. It's baked just the way she always used to. You know? She's lost. You wanna walk? It's fine. This was a long time coming. 
be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then, that's two out of three. That's right, yes. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate them. Last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go! 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 Fuck! Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! Ooh. I have absolutely no idea what you're saying. This field always smells so amazing. <laughs> Don't get too distracted! Oh, come on! You're not getting tired now, are you? <laughs> I don't think so! Whoop! Whoa! Are you really gonna let me beat you again? a magic fox the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus, thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you... You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think... you care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. Alfe? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... You've still got time to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. happens to you now. I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die.
I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. Sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Other home, other home, other home. Back to Sindri and figure out how to save Father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? I. I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I. Do not lie to me again! more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it, but I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. No. Why can't you just... Later. Oh, 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 oh,
Looks like that fast has finally done it. We don't want to fight you. Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Call your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe for the moment you are of more use to me. A pleasure to see you again. Rodnifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. What is it you want? I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up.
If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find it. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? Ain't going nowhere without this. <laughs> Where would you mug spouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Fimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scroat too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mufelheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Come on. Let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. See. Falky! <sighs> Come on then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limited. Watch where you're going. I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. Gone, I wonder. They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran top shot all over. You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My <laughs> idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again, as soon as I was exiled? Hmm? That looks interesting. So, oh, we 
Which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? <laughs> this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Sure, there's loot you're missing. If and you want to hunt around some. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can be. Victory and I were in the house so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now, I take some of the fault for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him. Does this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close. When they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is that if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last. Enough! When the day comes to face prayer again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. <laughs> you wish. What did Odin do to drive yeah. everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build yeah. him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. Why 
What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. And you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours. <laughs> your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come on up. Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save you. Uh-oh. Yeah! What? We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. God to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass.
So, you serve my sister. Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Okay, oh, Annie Blobber. Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are ya now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Uh, Brock, what do you think you're doing? Just setting up shop at my porch? Just because I hug you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. Go? This here's my family. Might not mean much to you, but it means plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker head brother. Five million moonbeams! I didn't realize the Hobbit brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna! That's Kratos! Though you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunga. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I'll put some herd on him. Something special? Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Are you looking? What you fight against Odin's army? Well, dog. Now that the distractions are out of the way, I have words. If you would hear them, speak them. With anger you feel for your brother, I know it well. You have a brother. His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. Oh. 
An ancient! Difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Hey! 
gain her yard. So they do occupy Remember, it won't do any good to attack while their shields are up. to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable. They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all. My village. I hardly recognize it. I used to play hide and seek with Freyr. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. Mm. 
I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. These plants behave similarly to the score holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. 
rushes blindly to a fate the Giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the Giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with the detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Oh. Well done, bro. <laughs> Atreus will not be a part of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the lives you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. After the price I paid to end war? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Oh! 
my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? son to aid my friends but i will be no one's monster never again you don't get to make that choice not with the debt you owe me i am not here for debts i would always have helped you so much has been taken from me and i'm just supposed to let it all go Freya. enough I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Open Barra. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how I did it. Come on! Nico! Creature! It belongs to Odin? No! Protect Ekrasil's roots wherever they are! Master was counting on it! You have it! Hurry! <laughs> 
hard, yes. But there are more rules. We will start them to provide. Come <laughs> on. 
it done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. for that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Look out! Look out. 
Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Now the sigil should hold the frost. Even in the axe's absence. Well done. Watch out, those are whips. Oh. Could I ever think of this place as home? After all that's happened. and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too. Oh! <laughs> 
has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? <laughs> My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. We don't have the equipment for this. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be.
It really is you. <laughs> You've returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. 
Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freya found her half dead in the jungle. Need something special? Ready when you are. No refunds. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead. Carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. Suna. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfine. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. We're clear. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. <coughs> We can explore the river now, and hopefully write some old wounds. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now, why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left.
Glad to see that still works. <laughs> An armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Uh, perhaps. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Learn anything? Life returns to the garden. Good. This garden still... Look. The door is held shut by that counterweight. We lower it, the door will open. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. No hope can spring from burned roots. I'd like to go talk with her. the last of the poison. Despite everything, the garden survives. Because of us. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The angry are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its cheap treasures. A just punishment. Well, that's lucky. We already destroyed all the totems poisoning our garden. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya! How did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All... Thanks, dude. That is no reason not to try. This crest belonged to Odin, a peace offering from my people, and a waste of good work. Take it 
offer. Oh. She's got that. Oh. 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 Before we head back, Can break the chain from here as well, no? Open. We can head back and get inside. Right there, left flank.
How do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Doesn't look like we can reach it from down here. What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gunhil. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around. more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. So, what's it like being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mekin. We should be able to reach the wedding site. What's it say, brother? Wait, 
Feels like there was something else. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Lunda's orb. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. Say their markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far away. Look what they've done to this place. <laughs> That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little spear. Should we return them to her? <laughs> Sigil arrows won't work on this.
Anything interesting, brother? That's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with Sather magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. You blame yourself. And? It will not lessen your pain. Let's return to Gunhil. Unless you'd like to condescend me. I do not. I wish things had gone differently. They say they are at best. Nightmare on the left! What did you find? Is it done? It is done. Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make, not yours to prevent, even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I help no one. You're already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. 
but it will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a right. cheery note, Busy brother. Time. Here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elf has been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually... Any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. It's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. And Lady Freya? Put some herd on them. Need something special? Keep your bits in all the right places. Ready when you are. What are you looking for? Family crests? I'll take them. Feels like there was something else. brother before you see the lad again might we discuss an approach he will tell me where he has been that is my approach ah classic spartan diplomacy wait did you say odin invited him to asgard and then he disappeared for two days aye but surely the lad's got more sense than to don't underestimate odin's powers of persuasion he filled my son's head with lies why wouldn't he do the same with yours That sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. 
Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, Chris. Well, come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? <laughs> mind? He'll be thrilled. Joint's getting classier by the day. Can it be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of... You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Dad, let go. What the fuck? I can't. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Definitely in Midgard. These things! When did it get so bad out here? Erba <laughs> Usa! <laughs> 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 Helping me stay warm. Uh, yep. Hope you know. The alpha. <laughs> At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Then, I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. Uh, 
What is this thing? Some kind of white? What is it you want? Yelpa! More ravens. You trying to tell me? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, why? <laughs> I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the cold. Jump up! I find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Keep control of this. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Charlie? No. Charlie. Please. Please. Charlie. Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. Warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't... Help if you don't... Emily! Emily!
I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Is this... Baldur's? Wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bert, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, you don't seem friendly. Yeah, danger! I know! Got it! 
Well, this might be the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change Father's fate, what am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a force told by prophecy. <laughs> out of that wall wait how do i get past the wall i never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. the stonemason's son built a flaw into it he only told frey about it and i didn't think to ask hold on i was frey at the house did he move in with us you know what focus loki hmm father would just burn this away with his blade but what can i do Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the brambles... Welcome! <laughs> there we go. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit! Me too! I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you... all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stayed? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, 
This I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven, you know, from Hugin and Moonin. He's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, his last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan, don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Why? Up here? I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. <gasps> I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your... Brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe. And... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Jump up! Get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. My 
might work. Here we go. Made it. Ah! Hold up more wind. Jump up. Hey, you get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin, how about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to have. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reemther's wall. <sighs> so, what did Loki ah! So, what did Loki do? He kept climbing. <gasps> He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. But Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. <sighs> ah! Come on. <sighs> okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think? Oh. Visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar. <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that.
This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Hondo? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How'd you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... Impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> You are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. Well, I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Huh. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ah! Hey! Whoa! Ah! Hey, Helmets! I brought you a practice, Teller. I thought we were going to own it. You see, the thing is, you do. I am not letting you anywhere near the Allfather. That's right. Show me all the stupid little tricks. <laughs> lost every war they ever fought. Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep all father waiting? 
Funny thing, I am sure of that. Yes, I'm feeling very sure of that. Oh no! Arrow! How fearsome! <laughs> oh, how is he doing? You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your brain. What? That doesn't even make sense! Oh, not even close! That's all you've got? How have you survived this long? Ha! That is your big special move? Hilarious! Young boy, is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Yotin? Oh! That one felt special! Oh, that was not the last trick you had! I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's our father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, oh, my... Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here! <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, He's not exactly getting an unbiased view, but you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Reist, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? Oh, Father. Queen Gnaw. The Ainhuyar are ready for your blessings. Okay. That's why I'm here, isn't it? 
Huh. Guess there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these ain't hairy are. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Finafen, Rothgar. Moon Finafen, Form. Moon Finafen, Kiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Study there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erland, try to stay awake for me. OK. But... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all father. Sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Derlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. And they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes.
Guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Huh, nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, Grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Fair enough. Come say hi when you're back. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Ah. You see, th this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... and and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want 
I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. We're more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like... knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Moose Bahan? The rest of the mask is here? where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Here. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Let's see what lucky and shiny We could maybe help. Don't bother. Where are we supposed to head now? Checking. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. 
If we too slow. Hey! You can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else? Throw you? The day's young. Elka! There's things up there hitting us with fire. Use your bow already. You know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my son. I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which... Mask. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you... Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. They were your people, too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms, and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the... Surtur Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. <gasps> the trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you would do to do together. First we deal with them. Up. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? Time. That's right. 
Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. Yappa! An ogre! You worry? Not in the slightest. Neat trick. waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Give me a challenge. Now to get to that shrine. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. yeah. Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? If there aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. 
but I wonder what lands they've gone to, what seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Throod would She'd be faring better than you, at least. Time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Let me check. Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Ain't that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice? 
Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Well, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? <laughs> Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah. <gasps> I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this. Figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy, getting personal. <laughs> but it's nothing like that. It's, well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. been a weird day. Exactly.
Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer my counsel? I only hope to help the boy find his answers. And I will <laughs> Now. You're, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. 
Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant raider attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea Come. like that? From me, of course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, they herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. The raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Clever. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. It's safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. <laughs>
way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hell does a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way. Kratos, are you okay? Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, <coughs> have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Ray is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you saw the Norns last time? The wolves lead us here. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Ranger on the left! <laughs> 
This search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. <laughs> what is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? That armor. Looks like you Lord won't believe design. it in me. I can fix it this up for you. This crest belongs like. to Fjotorlund. Fjotorlund, you say? Now yeah, that's where Seagram is from. Another crane. Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. So this outpost is what's left of Fjordland. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the battle. told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mamir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. Seems it can't rotate through the rock. Well done. 
Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. Another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, my dear. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. <laughs> the wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. You were asking about my last visit to the Norns. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. <laughs> The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. Brother. Look. That's part of Tyr's statue. of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? The set fleet's here. <gasps> We need to work our way up. This is there. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just broke. I didn't tell them to be here. <laughs> I don't 
know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. something. It's stronger this time. Over here. Opener. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we have stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Seems he was guarding that way outside. Rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred.
of the world. Frig of Asgard. Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. She always finds somebody to blame. Did know it all, and I cannot change. See, he forgot smartest man alive. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Oh. Aim for the ruining core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Nicely done! Keep on it! Another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. 
Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! A door. Oh, that looks official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. 
That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. That might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. Finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. <laughs> Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> the 
Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. Kratos, I see something. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfill prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It would be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgar. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic.
That ought to hurt him. Anything for Freya? What can I make for you? I'll disinfect my tools. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nethog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaves will be a walk in the park. We now, must go. What else might there be to discuss? They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop me a... I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now 
you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimping shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursioning you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Hmm? Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so powerfully. There. If we keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. 
poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. by the gate should do the trick. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing the culture you help undermine. Classic age. Oh, all right, all right. I might have earned that one. <laughs> Brother, that looks flammable. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service. oil spill. fault Atreus ran off in him. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants can feel a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our... <laughs> There's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere.
Angel arrows should work with ice as well. <laughs> Bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't, or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child. Now, where have they got the third one hidden away? Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stop. <laughs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. Now we can open the other gate. 
Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked out of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. <laughs> Not for me to say. All right. Let's get that <laughs> wheel turning. <laughs> ah, teamwork. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain hair yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the board. Folky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the board. I don't mind stretching my legs. <laughs> Catch up with you any damn time I want. Better take out that net! The eyes are off! <laughs> Show me what you got! 
Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mummy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay, looks like that around see if there's a way to lift this lift. The dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Blot than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane to cap that guy. You just give me the signal. Now. On it. He is turn it. Copy that. We gotta have a full stop. Ah, promising. Money. Game's over. Come on through and get those cables. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. No. Oh. Watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than <laughs> Sorry. 
So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. <laughs> but today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro? I've never seen you so reverent. Are you now? Uh, no, fuck you. <laughs> it does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Peace. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. She doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I won't drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, no? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to. Nature of you. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Where is the forge? She needs the final ingredient. The 
blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck do you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Oh! <laughs> 
What you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Any of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. the more you take away. <clears throat> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over the ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> Show me what you got! Huh! <laughs> 
It's all about the proper angle with those. <laughs> you want it straight on. You sure you ain't done this before? <laughs> See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever you need. One of Nicole's children! <laughs> Put that in the trap! <laughs> Great! Y you got him! Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready. That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those grandmas think you're brother! <laughs> shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Well, thank you kindly, Brock. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a... has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. 
Time. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. You're a shield strike, brother. <laughs> Spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Not me!
Hmm. So this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard Ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What do you expect? You think he lies and betrays us in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone is a old. Prepare for a fight. Gonna feel the callus. For the king. Fall before me. Favor, brother. If you see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. 
Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. I smell lean worm on you. Thank <laughs> you. Quit missing your rabbit. Come bring the child. Hello. Good to see the child. Here's what I found. intended. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear. See what we done. Now do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild ones. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful. And you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Fortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? What would you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. To uh. <laughs> think the mighty god of war, frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. Is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. I can't give in to it. Three, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, <laughs> it didn't. That didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And, uh, Atreus, see you later. And Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> the Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. Just the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd. Mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? down in this library. Huh. Is this old, or does he make them paint him young? What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. Finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? 
I'm gonna trust you. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's got to be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, whoa, oh. hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lao should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Rude. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. Now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Hellwalkers, here's your chance. Tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Mimir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? Dead end. This is where the mask said to go? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way! Go! 
Maybe we can use the big crate. I got this. Uh-huh, sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. That means a lot. Thanks. Now, we have a masterpiece to find. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. Now we go right. Into a group of hellwalkers. Let's get out of the Too. What's the mask say? So, the mask's pull is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? to see what I can do. I know. We both do.
Mask? Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. <sighs> okay, this thing is really fighting me. See anything in there? There. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. <clears throat> well, I know exactly what that's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. <gasps> I'm keeping me in Asgard after this. Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. But of course the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Sweet! So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. Uh, looks like it's through here. So training gave me... Too heavy? Shut up! Somebody's blocking it. I'll take a look, but I want to hear the rest. Deal. Not bad. I know. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all the strength and style, no apologies, it gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward, clear as day. Two bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Make your own path, just like we've been doing here. Now, let's <laughs> see. Step aside, little man. <sighs> this one's stuck too, but I feel it weakening. <sighs> I can feel it. It's definitely budging. Sure looks like it. Bring it on! Jump up! Down! <laughs> 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 
down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. <clears throat> Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah. Guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no. Just talking to Ingrid. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm waiting. I get a better view of that crate. You did it! I better get back. Stop. Hey, what's going on out there? Freaking out. We must be close. Who's that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. Yeah. Well, you gotta get out of here. With the mask. We're so close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There's another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. A dead end? 
Please tell me it's down in the water or something. There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. I'll fix it. I can find the piece. You absolute, unqualified moron! You know that thing tears holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less. From half breeds. Don't call me a half breed. I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece <laughs> of trash! <laughs> Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, little girl. Starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> Oh. You really believed the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! You're so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the author. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar. I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost... Moving. If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save her for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Allfather. Oh, 
secured the item. Thanks a lot. Throat, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. What did you think would happen? She hates me, Thor. My little girl. You can't keep undermining me like that. Training her behind my back? She's gonna do what she wants. Wouldn't you rather I at least help? Know where she's going, keep her safe. No, I'd rather us be a team. <sighs> Stop. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. OK, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Need to go. And Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugen will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. Of course. Erbauta! <laughs> Better use the Mystic Gateway quick. Odin was right. Green Garm. How did I screw up so badly? Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no! It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! Here! Nice time! Shoot! Try to find a way to use You mind? We're being attacked right now! This won't stop until I close that realm. Atreus 
help keep them off me. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? Just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers... They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. 
I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fuck, lad! You freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. <sighs> One problem. How much do I have a way back to Helheim? Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I... We are going. And do try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. Atreus! <sighs> He's probably just scared. He was chained up for a really long time. We can't hurt him, okay? A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. Whoa, wind powers? Cool. Come on, we gotta get across before he opens up more realm there. <sighs> Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. I need you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. 
can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? Why you didn't want war? I do not. But... It's complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help, as long as I am able. Well, that's good to hear, too. Tell me, what would... You do in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found and a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe, but I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus, I... Let's just figure out how this gate works, okay? The gear is blocked and the gate is up. <laughs> around the gate. Maybe we can use money where chain out. Yeah! 
is all my fault. Asgard. Help me understand. Odin doesn't want Ragnarok. I, I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. I can't let Ragnarok have you. I would have helped you. No. Wait, he's right here. Okay. Okay. It's okay, boy. It's, it's all right. Just calm. Just calm. We, we just want to... Squeeze through here. If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in the moment. Yeah? And what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons for that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
So, if you're not preparing for Ragnarok, then seriously, I despair. I share. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question. But I will try not to kill the beast. your plan i'm sort of making it up as i go but you're not talking about Varn. you cannot outsmart odin it's worked so far has it <laughs> now what i'm gonna try to tame it tame it sure i've tamed wolves before Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. You will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. Why didn't 
that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? It does not trust. Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just, I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. Oh, my God. 
didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Just go home now. Atreus. I know. Close my heart to <sighs> Another locked door. Arrows don't work on them. Do you have an idea? Hmm. Maybe we can use my sigils to carry the frost over here. Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that. Oh! <laughs> 
will keep flooding the realm. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? Watch out! We gotta find him. Come on. Well, if he came this way, let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah, let's see if it took. <laughs> when I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. <laughs> You're okay. 
Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it. Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me? told you Heimdall was going to try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Yes, it's so awesome. Trust the faith. Why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. I missed the gateway, got buried. I have it. Strong. I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was 
against the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. <gasps> back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. 
Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. Father, I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere... I'm really sorry about the way... Before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would... Hey, wait! We're with you. Should we travel to Vanaheim? Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Frey to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. There is much I owe her. <laughs> Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. 
And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Alka! really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. Oh! The old swine still carried mm -hmm. a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Look 
By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. I think Lotus Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim. Right? Correct. An exiled scholar <laughs> married to a warrior. Taylor. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait. Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. That raises even more questions. Okay. Find the noble! Making these things stronger! <laughs> Sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skolanati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. So besides oh. all this beanie and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. Go! Traveler that doesn't want to kill us. Ain't heading our head. I'm ready. Coming. 
I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This wall, when I bring it down. Uh, empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? This is definitely an ambush. Yes. We can get to it from up here. Hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. <clears throat> hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh... Come on! Brother, you're covered in my 
She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy. From hell on. I'm almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Another Ender To the left! Hello, brother. You're covered in bifrost. <laughs> But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. 
Not because it is written. Elsa. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Like they want us to use it at one of the altars? Perhaps Freya will know. So, in essence, they just gave us the keys of Dusk Till Dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cap. <laughs> <laughs> one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army? Like the pro... <laughs> So, we report back to Hilda's Feeney, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern. Not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. <laughs> the 
all the plants who want to kill us? No, no. <laughs> Only the canapsious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. <laughs> and a mold. Would have been a shame to have left that behind. You still owe me the story of who made these things. Need something special? Damn! Am I good or what? Very good. Wait. Feels like there was something else. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Fire at the real! Perhaps my arrows! I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Enemy behind you, Kratos! On your right! Fight, Lord! Coming! <laughs> 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 
Rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Haven't we? Careful, brother! You're covered in bifrost! said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, 
I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally make peace. Perhaps I can make peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? God, What? The most annoying man alive. On your mark. <laughs> Behind you, Gregor! <laughs> 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 Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, we're meat hog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the world tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! Oh, if it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are 
succeeded elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! Such a cool soul forever do to you! Come on! Damn animal! Not going to lie! I'm disappointed! <laughs> I even used 
Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him. <laughs> <laughs> this is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us.
at least the rescue's going well. for long.
<laughs> you should have seen your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. We have guests! think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says it made for. I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Wherever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written.
prophecy holds that Galahort is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Mostly it. Hold the dress. We'll discuss in private. I knew he'd left something behind. Feels like there was something else. What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Ah, we can always try finding Helka some other time. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Trace, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. 
We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, you have me. And therein lies it. Atreus, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir. Anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Aye, lad. Wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir. I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <sighs> Here we go. It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. Mm. It's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> so, I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh... How'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. 
I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Won't I, boy? <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. Help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in his study. Okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean... Everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean... You know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I... I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else. Entirely, I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. Let's do two. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, Rude? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Huh. Come on. They're not going to let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. Oh, 
rude. I'm... It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather... Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <sighs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants, and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. I can't. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... What? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough!
Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no, it's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Thrudy. You are going to Niflheim with Loki. All Father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. You fucked up. Can I get you a water or something? Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get 
back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what seeing you like that did you. I was drunk, not blind. You take this one, kid. straight to the mat. You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong. I'm not your passport. <laughs> <laughs> You know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. Do Something you wanna... I need to do first. Thank you, Tom. Now we can go. Anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. Does that seem to sound familiar to you at all? says we can't.
from Ivaldi's workshop, right? Far enough. Damn it! Ancient! Again with the gripe. Calling out a problem with the griping. It's helping. Bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. Stop her! I will say the sword's doing work over there. You're lucky she's helping, too. Through there, just ahead. This one. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, said it was. It was. What do you want to say when you see them again? Sif and Throod, I mean. If all father is pleased, it doesn't matter. Look, I don't need you to solve my family problems for me. Just find the mask. Let's get out of here. Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without father, you're looking over your shoulder. I, uh... Well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to. In a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. Guys, it's me. No thinking. It's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe. I can check. This one's yours. Thor. So 
Sure. I, um, hope everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, that's better than thinking. It's a start. Gotcha! here. We did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? father against me my daughter i have no idea what's happening you know i finally thought of something i can teach you hey you stand now since we better be right where are you oh! ah! sindri Ugh. you sure know how to plan an exit atreus <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Lumir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. Get out of back, everybody. Hey, you made it. I'll get to here. Join us at the table if you're ready to oh, stay. See? 
I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Luna one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're back. I still can't figure that out. Are you one okay? Out. I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. This mask, the easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. <laughs> I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me. But if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? Lax! Not that a fair question, brother. You was held Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Rock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey! I'm talking to you! You never shut up! Run! Pull the face, Holden. Let go of the boy and face me! Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies... Now, now. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frig. Hey, I don't move. You don't move. 
Don't do anything to regret. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. Rushwatson! I am in control here! Throw me the map! Now! You have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done. And I forgive you. But you gotta stop. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him! We need you here! Father, where are we going? Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. What do we hunt? Deer. Which way we headed, lad? In... the direction of deer. Just need space. Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. 
Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, Brock, Sentry's face. Son. There it is. over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I... Don't understand. When an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. Find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm going to say to him. Of course. <laughs> Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences to be reminded of them. There's not punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. Swanna. It's Becky. We can take the sled when you're ready. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Ah! Mimir, is there a chance that we can bring Brock back? Sentry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. 
When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like rocks, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the lake of souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. Really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. No. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. I'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge should still work. We can get up to the temple that way. <laughs> we really should stay on the sled until we reach the temple, brother. Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. So oh, sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures, and you just kept taking. And now what have I got? Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We. There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight! Come on, us. family too.
is there? No. But I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back, we're... we really are going to war. It has come to win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know, Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Defend the peace. You know, this looks like something a giant would wear. Good eye. Tyr's bracers were crafted by the finest artisans in Jotunheim. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to... The giants were not wrong. Are we even sure Freya will still be at the house? Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tyr to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tyr's desire for peace and mine. You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, dare I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means... We need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Sarta. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. Just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in all fun. And you? To Valheim? Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. Off to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission.
said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosfelger and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey. I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Surtur's wife. Where is she? Nifelheim. Hey. If we head down towards that tower, we might be able to see the forge. I wonder if they saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen now. Hey, that's the other half of the broken moose behind Sigurd's We can take it to a mystic gateway. Maybe we'll find Sutter's combat trials. Look, over there. Pretty good feel for the layout. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Really? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now? You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. You can't win this war without them, right? Gotta be close. I can hear the fort. Ah! <laughs> 
sweaty. Let us find Surtur. Through the broken gate. I think we're close. That's gotta be him. We will ask. Hello? Surger? Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello? We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey! That wasn't- We deal with these fucks! I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left of him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Well, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah. 
there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. Yeah, that could work. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. You sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. Where do we go? Spark the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, starter? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic, primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get big, smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? I don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn, right? Yeah. Then we're good. Daughter, were you here at the beginning of everything? Yeah. What was it like? <sighs> Loud. So, here it is. The spark of the world. Oh, this is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have yellow and... He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that, too. This is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes... ...loving someone is about... ...choosing... The lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmar's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. Now, for the 
really painful part. My fire, her heart. Combine them, you get Ragnarok. It's time.
Hear that? All we have to do is call him with Gallarhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Bond. We can take the Mystic Gateway back from there. It worked. I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, so I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Gro was right. Gro failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. Oh. Ragnarok's strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. The earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Ah. Oh, no. More of Odin's forces! fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. Place is gonna fall apart if those keep happening.
quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. <laughs> to a certain Vanny of Nocte did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? This is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for us. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. Brother, about the oracles of your land. Would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own Hold that thought. I think it's about to get violent. <laughs> 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 Behind 
That's all of them. Father, were those the same raiders we rescued our wolves from when... Yes. These were coal raiders. Wolf eaters. I bet they have other camps around here. If so, I'd like to take care of them so they can't hurt any more animals. Perhaps. Probably gathered in their home rooms. Waiting for when we blow Gallery. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the round towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, come here. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors, I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? 
A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Hildy. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more, except perhaps a dance. Yet do I may have lost a step. <laughs> do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived,
Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? <laughs> in my land, we entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you not? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not in purpose. to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son <sighs> we will always walk together Kratos you will always be a part of me I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Say, do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart 
to the world as you have opened it to me, and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Hey, General Kratos! I got something you're gonna want before you go to war! <gasps> Thanks for grabbing this. Time to cleave some hands. Oh, do you think it wise to go on? General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. 
Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin earns too, that's where I'll be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. to do. I'm a 
Chains. We use them to break the flaw. Strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred a realm destroying fire giants, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. Oh. Oh. Valkyrie Queen is gone. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Behind you! Careful, brother. You're covered in black balls. Yours link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the corpse. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Rally all you can. We will make for this fun of Huntawa. Here. 
Way to go, Sindri! Ah, uh, it's just Sindri! I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this! Sin, Save it! Almost forced them to build those war machines! And I'm here to tear them down! Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine! Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants! what you wanted I, I didn't want this oh close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What are you doing? Size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Petraeus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see if done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped. And meet you at the fall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. 
I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. Sentry, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us. Knowing they can't fight, their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem in front of him. Then the Guardians. Your friend, our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? Throod. I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. our ground we'd be safe and he said we owed him uh. 
You don't owe him your death. <laughs> oh, shit. Dad will never let them get the grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Go! 
Great Lodge. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. Is it Manos? That may not be our biggest problem right now. Hold it, Danger! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just... Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I trust you. Stay away from her! I am done with you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this! We do! It's what we are! That won't be enough! Oh. Oh. I can you!
fuck are you waiting for? Your daughter. My son calls her friend. If you try to hurt her... I would not. Don't you know... ...what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. We are destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children. We must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think! You kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I did not want this. No! Ruth, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Oh! 
this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh, oh. What? Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen! I always loved you. You know. You've never loved anyone! Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on the mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! Everything I've done for! Every 
everything I've killed for. I just wanted answers. I just wanted answers. <laughs> was our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu. Sofna. Hey, son. Sofna. Sofna. I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. No matter what happens, I'll 
be with you. But your path is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Ah. Uh, hi. Where where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hare. Mom, stop it, I'm fine. Hush. It's rude. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry, I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit. Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Huh. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, killed she... her? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyer fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true, and incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you!
I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildas Vini. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This for you too. Mm. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, 
pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Ainhuryar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survived today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains.
see in there, brother? to it. Flair, we should probably talk about Ganar. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir your goddess, your friend. Ganar pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she Another finds us. Another one for the big boy himself. Skull. 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 few dozen of her camp. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General. Lady Freya. Mimir. My lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. to first we could take care of any lingering business in the realms or investigate those pieces of asgard either way we are with you brother lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get together to honor brock's memory at rab's tavern and svartalfheim i'd like to go
to Vanaheim then. Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your majesty. Anytime. Regarding security... Kratos, Freya, welcome back. I'm here. Lady Sif, Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, your majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenryar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the ACR helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? <laughs> to it, then. Where can we set up the farmsteads and the granaries? We don't do that kind of thing here. This realm provides us what we need. What if the winter is harsh? Or if the food spoils? What is wrong? Hunger. Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just... Perhaps had you not burned Freya for burn trying to burn. teach you... I did not like that fire. The battle brock in Svartalfheim. But I was there to... A funeral. Yeah. Remain at Rab's tavern in death, death, Valir. Odin's legacy of poor we will leadership be there. Working together, we can break that cycle faster than apart. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. 
I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. God, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. Suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. some morning guard. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
Country. Black Puss. It's bigger the more you take away. <laughs> 